Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building a 1971 Nissan Skyline GTR from the Fast Five. Now to create this build, I'm going to be using the Volker Warrener inside of GTA 5. And in my opinion, man, it looks fucking amazing. It looks so close to the, to the 1971 Skyline from real life. It, it's, that's a joke, man. But nevertheless if you want to follow me on this build go and grab yourself a Volker Warner. meet me in LS Customs and I'll show you how to do the rest so you go my bros as you pull into LS Customs you'll see the Volker Warner is in the sedans category now as always we're going to start the build with 100% body armor we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper front bumper I'm pretty sure we're not going to change this because we need a chrome and all these uh, really extravagant kind of drift build sort of shit I think <laughs> so yeah we're going to stay with a stock bumper for the front and uh, and also for the rear then we're going to go to the engine we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhaust we are going to go with something real sporty that's too crazy um, so yeah uh, I'm not really sure what this exhaust type is called originally for the Volker Warner but on mine it's called the 6 star exhaust system burn tip um and that's the one we're going to want to go with. Hopefully, that is available for the Volker Warner for everybody else. I can't really remember, to be fair. Um, but if not, the race exhaust is good. But for me, I'm going to go with this bad boy. Next, we're going to move to the grill. Pretty sure we're not going to change anything on here. Uh, actually, do I? No. No, we don't want to change anything. Because I'm. Yeah, because we're removing the grill there, but the one in the film does have a grill behind the grill <laughs> so we're going to stay stock for that uh the headlights we're going to go headlights probably not no we're not going to change that we're going to stay stock for the headlights and we're going to go to the hood again i think we're going to stay stock which we are because these two are just crazy so we're going to stay stock for the hood so then we're going to move on to the respray we're going to go primary color into classic and from here we're going to go and purchase a black and then for the secondary color we're also going to go into classic and purchase a black so then we've got the option of a roll cage. Now, I don't think one in the film does have a roll cage. But because it is a Fast and the Furious vehicle, maybe you'd want to go with it. It kind of makes sense because of the type of film that this car is is uh, featuring in. Uh, a roll cage would be ideal. And I think it looks cool as fuck. So this one's personal preference, I suppose. I'm pretty sure the, the car in the film doesn't have a roll cage. But I can't be 100%. Plus, it being a fast and a furious vehicle, I think a roll cage is very fitting. So I'm going to go with a roll cage upgrade. But again, if you don't want to, or if you believe there is no roll cage in the car in the film, you know, just leave it out. It's entirely up to you guys. Then we've got the side skirts. Um, the car in the film does have, like, I wouldn't say they're wide arches. They're very similar to the stock ones, actually. Um but they're not too dissimilar to these ones. Definitely not a carbon fiber. So I think the, car, the the custom arch extensions actually look quite good and very close to the ones from the film, but they also look good too. That is a tuffy. I think we're gonna go with the custom arch extensions because uh, like I said, the one in the film does have arch extensions. It's just, you know, personal preference on how wide you want it, I suppose. Um, but they look good, I think they look very very similar to the ones from the film so we're gonna go with them next we've got the spoiler um hopefully we can get yes it, yes we can there we go it's very similar to the high level spoiler but we do need this one called the high level spoiler that looks fucking pretty much spot on to what we need so awesome then we've got the suspension we're gonna go with the competition suspension transmission we're gonna get race transmission and turbo tuning now for the wheels guys wheel type i'm not sure what we're gonna go with I'm, i think i'm gonna go with the tuners but I'm going to have a quick flick through this and see what I can find. Now, to be honest, I've found these Rally Masters, and I think they're very, very close to what we need. So I'm going to go with them, uh, wheel colour, and we're going to change it to the carbon black. And to finish off the build, as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint, just because it looks badass as fuck. So you go, my bros. There is my variation of the 1971 Nissan Skyline GTR from the Fast and the Furious 5. Now, this Volker Warner does an awesome job. And I mean an awesome job as um, 
as the, the the 71 skyline from fast five man it just looks so good even like where the wing mirrors are they're actually on the wings or the arches or the fenders whatever you would like to call them but they're in the perfect position the headlights are exactly the same even the shape of the grill is very very similar the shape of the car is also very very similar and the only downside to this car is that it's a four door and the car in the film is only a two door but other than that man it is identical and it looks amazing so yeah i'm overly happy with the way this has turned out so as always guys you let me know what you think of this car build down in the comments below as always appreciated and if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more gta 5 content and if you haven't already why the fuck haven't you smash that like button show your appreciation and uh yeah and i'll love you forever <laughs> but until next time guys take care and i'm out adios Thank you.